free and dive into the sky. Here go. Behind your back Chase the light When the world is getting darker I have a dream Where love's the only side So take my hand Join the army of the shadows
Sonic. Thank mm -hmm. you. Don't wave that around. Easy. Peculiar.
Evening, mister. You know, there's nothing worse than a drunk rider coming in here. The things they do to their horses, it ain't right. Evening, friend. That'll keep your horse full and happy, let me tell you. Keep these horses fed of water till you get back. Evening, partner. Easy, boy. Come on, pal. Why don't you watch where you're going? Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this man's existence! <laughs> Don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Help! God 
Damn it! Somebody please help me! Eaten it! Hey, boy. Folk won't leave me the... Yeah. 
Okay. The trail. Got a good head start on me. Still a ways. Gotta be close. What the hell? Okay, fella.
Oh, that's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. <sighs> hey, partner, come back here. What the hell? Look, you got the wrong end of this. Punish. Running ain't solving anything. Hey, will you talk? I'm going in alone! Oh, damn! You're starting to irritate me. What the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. <laughs> oh, yeah, very clever. Oh, <laughs> that's a neat trick. It's steak dinners and dancing. Very got good, strong. very good. I'm gonna get you now. Come here. This up Oh, <coughs> damn it! Now where you gone? Magnifico, can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Why well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah. So God long, damn it. dummy. Where are you? You go. Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? 
What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram! You got Dummy over there! Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha! Shut up, you dimwit! You sold me out! You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy! Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put him up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you two?
Creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, and then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. You carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <clears throat> the 10% have survived. They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That, that's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. But don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Last year, they... Oh, look! On that little beach. Boars! If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. In the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? Seventeen feet, nineteen feet, twenty-one feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's twenty-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a twelve-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. Right. Right. There, in the cane rake. That's a likely spot for one. 
Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. Stop the boat just there, off the island. Sure. But we stop too long. Locals are gonna start getting curious. Just just there, please. So so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please. He's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might it might just save him from the taxidermist. <sighs> Fine. Maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh. That's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go, then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you, and then turn to kill him right. There'll be no need for an instrument of killing. If I'm eating, I hope he eats you, too. I would never forgive you. Keep going. Through the pole. Oh, he's awake. Come on, Gator. Quick! Jump in the boat! In, 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 in! Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. Put that away! We're conservationists, not killers. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, assuredly. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too.
Ah, yes. Doctor here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. What? Let's go, boy.
Hello, mister. Here we are. This could take a while.
Ain't close. Must be near.
Chinese people. You won't see any more of my money. It's only temporary. This will all be sorted out soon, I promise. What are you two? Here we go. Well, it's been a little while, eh? Hey there, sir. So, what do you have for me? Okay, let's take a look at it. How are you? Have you seen Hodo Kali, Kali. Yep. Ah. I think he really misses his wife and child in the home country. Can't do much about it. Hello, sir. I found a hard day of relaxation. I sure. Quiet. Hello. Thanks, Mister. Best coat, tailor made. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. I wish I never had to take my stall into the city. Just like I wish country folk had any damn money. <laughs> Look around. Much to see. Fine, sure. Wow, me. I won't ask where it came from. Hmm. Why not? I have quite the skills, if you have the right ingredients.
A very fine choice. Exceedingly fine. You have a distinctive palette. A very fine choice. Exceedingly fine. You have a distinctive palette. I'm sorry. Don't worry, no harm done. Welcome back. Christ's sake. Hello. Oh, first time. Come on in. Take a look. Got my candies in the middle there, tobacco in the corner, food and sundries to the sides, and the booze is up by the counter. You want the full range? Just have a look through the catalog. Take a study. L let me know what catches your eye. Okay. Well, if you change your mind. Okay. Always looking for supply. They sell. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Sure, why not? Well then. Oh my, you look like you. A uh, little, maybe. Well, stock up then. Need to get you fed.
Hey, cuidado. Out of the damn way. Oh, hell. Just a moment, please. How you doing? Happy to help you start over. What can I do for you? Enjoy your destination. Evening, friend. Evening. I think you think I wanted that snake to bite me. I think it's awful convenient is all. Yeah, well, it weren't convenient for me at the time. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Time to go, I boy. I'm off work now. And the doctor's got me on some mighty Evening. fine... Whew, whatever it is in that bottle. <laughs> and to think you're church-going man. Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all. But a chimpanzee that a man shaves up. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash him. No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You. Maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. Hit me. You really walloped him! Right, yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit me again! Right here! Right here. Oh. 
Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I stand. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. Well, there's only one thing for it then. Hit me in manhood. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> My turn. Enough, gentlemen? Yes, I think so. Oh, I slipped. And I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? Hello. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys, they won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. We don't have a lot of time. 
The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. I think that should do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. <clears throat> Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. Over here, Arthur! My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that s Okay. They've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them- Put your hands up! You surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake! Put your hands up, soldier! Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! There's another patrol! We will pick! Looks like we that's got what a it takes! boys!
you damn fools, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Shit! Everyone, keep your heads down! We're gonna get up out of this! No! So no, too many of us! Peta. Damn. They're sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave, now! What about Eagle Flies? We gotta go, Arthur, come on! We need to ride hard, stay with me! Get a move on, Arthur! Yeah. Into the trees!
Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot, try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah! Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. Oh, um,
Come here, big boy. Oh, I got you. They're oh. okay. You're okay. Oh. You're okay. Uh, what a mess. I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? <laughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith.
Hey, boy. Stranger, hey, that's a nice looking horse you have there. Hold on a minute now, we're talking to you. Why not a race to Calumet Ravine? You? Whoa, whoa, sure, what are you race. doing? Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I 
Oh no. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <coughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. Come on then, let's get this moving. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right, let me know when you're ready. Are you getting the crate? I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. Okay, you should be good there. I'm ready, come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it, nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Okay, let's go. Nice and easy. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. I need 
need some help down here. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I should go get the handcart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. Quick as you can, Arthur. I sure hope this is enough blowing. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Hard as 
you can! Let's go, let's go! Just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. This old dust got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. 
You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. an accident. He's our friend.
Hey, mister. Oh. Hello. This weather feels like a blessing. It's good to be warm. So then. Come on. Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail. Apparently awaiting death. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious, and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men. I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. <sighs> Well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe. Do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? 
If that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. Hurry up, Mr. Morgan! Why are you riding off like that? No, I was saying something, uh... Oh, yes. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Let's go. We can rest when we get there. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. Well... For years, he was the best man I knew. But he's been unraveling for some time now, and I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him, just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos... Are you okay, Mr. Morgan? We'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. Eagle Flies got caught up in that. Now he's in jail. Sadly. Eagle Flies was ready to fight. I'm sure. Charles will find a way to help him, but I just wanted you to know the situation. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. So, you were saying? Well, I appreciate you coming to me, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some more thought. Things that bad on a reservation? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Many of the elders are sick, and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Well, we ain't done much to calm the situation. But I have to continue to seek to resolve matters through peaceful negotiation. War would be futile. Your people are lucky to have you. I'm not so sure about that. Wait, 
Stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. This will combine well. I'll put these in your saddlebag, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Feller, Monroe, how you know him? Captain Monroe was reassigned here from a regiment in the north. Apparently, the news of our conflict has spread all the way to Washington. He's a good man. He wants to help. Well, I guess that's something, at least. The army aren't all bad men. Just as my people aren't all good. But this Colonel favors. He walks an old line. He's obstinate, and he hates Monroe. I just hope between us we can work this out. Just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Tanupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. Okay. Let's continue on. This is a place of peace. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all here. that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, 
still no sign of the Chinupa. some drinking okay let me give this some more thought thank you mr. Morgan quick mr. Morgan there's someone down there do you have any binoculars There they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us. transferred. I don't like him much. He always seemed like a decent enough fellow to me. We got an intruder! I warned you!
Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 